what's going on everybody we are back and today we are going to be installing our EKR seat covers on my 2014 Mazda 6 GT so not waste much time let's get right into it the main reason why I am putting seat covers on my car is because of the driver's seat as you can see it has been repaired there it has been repaired there then I have a new grip here. So I reached out to EKR uh, on their website. They only had black. And I believe it was like $289 just for the front seats. And then it was like $389, I believe. Uh, and I'm not responsible for price changes doing to all that stuff. I think it was $389 for the front and the rear seats. But I didn't want black because I already have black. I wanted red. So I contacted them and they sent me out the red seat covers so if you're looking for a set of seat covers please look in the video description and i should have a, a discount or a promo code in there for you to get a little bit off of your purchase so save you a little bit of money so i did a unboxing video on everything that's in here so if you want to see how it's packaged how it comes what it looks like straight out of the box from ekr you can check out that video uh i will have that down in the description as well but watch this one first and then go back and watch that so if you take the front seats turn them upside down you will see that one says first row left bottom so left is going to be the driver's seat bottom uh the back does not have a tag on it i do not believe but you can see that on the left side which of course on camera it'd be the right, but if you get in the car it'd be the left side, it has the airbag tag. So this is gonna be the driver back. This is gonna be the driver bottom. So let's get these to the car and let's see if I get them installed. For the headrest, uh, there is a tag in the inside. So you wanna grab the ones that say front headrest. And just kind of tuck this right over behind here and just have that where it looks nice and factory you may have to recline your seat to give yourself some room to remove the headrest And last but not least, we need to do the headrest. So it looks like it just slips on. Put it on and let's see what it looks like. It's like a little bonnet for your headrest. Fits good. And the holes uh, in the seat cover are a little off, but no big deal. You still get it down in there. Oh, it's a whole lot easier to do adjustments once you get it mounted into the seat. Oh man, that looks, man, that looks really good. Oh man, I'm trying to get y'all in here so y'all can see it. That looks good. That looks good. So, man. All right, so I'm sure that the passenger side seat is gonna be the exact same as the driver side seat. So let me knock that out real fast and I'll be back when both front seats are finished. Feel like it's about to rain again. But both front seats are in, done, and adjusted. And boy, do these seats look good. Oh, look at that. These seats look good in here. I cannot wait 
to get the back seat. So it has started to rain, but I got everything laid out. Got the three rear headrests and then the side bolsters. So let's start with these side bolsters and let's get these installed. Here we have the headrest, and you do have two outside and a middle headrest, and the tag on the inside for the two outside ones will say rear side two, and then the middle one on the tag, it says rear middle three. So it is still raining. So I'm going to just tough it out and get everything reinstalled. And I will be back once it's all in. All right, everyone, so we are back. This is the first day in a while that we've had sun. Uh, between all the rain and uh, Hurricane Big Debbie, it's been a time. So, as you can see, when we left off, uh, I was putting the interior back together, and it was raining outside. But here, everything is all together. So, we're going to give a walkthrough so y'all can see the fit and finish. So, we will start with the driver's seat. And you can see that the fit on the headrest is good on the back everything is good and on the seat is good that's probably one thing where everybody is kind of turned away from seat covers because you don't want them to look like seat covers and i will say and i could probably tuck that down a little bit more but other than right here in the back this is probably the only place where you really can tell that it is a seat cover and then even then really not so much Fit and finish on these are very, very well. And then even if you look at it from the back, it still doesn't really look like a seat cover until you kind of get down to the bottom. Uh, I don't know if the plastics on the lower trim models like the Sport and the Touring are any different, but at least on my Grand Touring, I could not get this to tuck down in here because this plastic piece goes way 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 around and then you really can't tuck it uh, underneath but like i said on the uh on the sport in the touring models your plastics may look a little bit different since i do have uh bolster adjustment height adjustment and i have memory seats so my side plastics probably a little bit different from y'all's uh but really other than the 
zipper that's on the inside of the seats you really can't tell that these are seat covers and for the back seat again you really can't tell that these are seat covers uh, other than the zipper part on the center console so if you want to utilize the center console you will have to unzip the flap it has a piece of velcro holding it down undo the velcro and then you can let the armrest down and you can just tuck the flap back somewhere like so so it does look out of place with the interior uh, with that being said I probably will not be using uh, the center console unless we're going on a road trip and my kids have something to drink but even then they have something to drink they can utilize the cup holders in the door at least my son can anyway and I think my daughter's booster seat has a cup holder on it so they really don't need to use the center console so we would just velcro that back down zip this back up and we will probably just leave this just like that uh, from the outside of the car you really can't see because the windows are tinted uh, but you can see the back of the headrest and it just looks like it has red interior you really can't see it then of course the same thing for the other side is true for the passenger side same fitting and everything and the same thing for the passenger seat where like I said if you didn't know you wouldn't know that this was a seat cover so that is my review on the EKR seat covers they fit excellent they look excellent and I mean let's just be honest a car with red interior just looks sexy so if you have any questions please let me know uh, and if you are looking for a set of seat cover that look as good as the EKRs do I will have a promo code it will be D Beals so D B U I L D Z so it's Darius Beals with a Z so like always and everything we do always remember think build and enjoy